Hey, do I dare come back today? And I still have dirty hair and it's a snow day and I'm in my PJs and my Jamberry robe that I got at the executive conference this weekend. So, um, even dirtier today. Is that possible? So, first of all, thanks to all of you that gave me some lovin's after yesterday's Periscope. I've also had some people that I offended. Never was my intent, so I apologize if you're one of the people that I offended. I didn't mean to say you were sitting at home on the couch eating bonbons. Not everybody knows me as well as I think that they do, and I was just kind of being funny and poking fun at myself because that's some of the behaviors that I do. For reals like eat bonbons and watch six episodes of Law and Order SVU back to back on TNT. I love that. Boom, boom. Don't you? It's the best thing ever. I look like I'm glowing, but it's really that I'm just a little oily because I need to watch, wash my face. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the meat of, um, you stomped your zero. I love that. Who is that? Chrissy, good for you. Um, yes, absolutely. Some days you do need a bonbon and a TV marathon. But you know what? Then you got to put your big girl pants on and um, and and bust a move and, and get your business going. So after that, a lot of people have said to me, well, how do I make a sale? What do I do? So I'm just going to give you a couple of my top um, things to do um to kind of get a sale. First of all, do you really believe in our product? You know, that's really what's most important about this business. Do you really believe in Jamberry? Do you really love the product? If you look at your fingers right now, are you wearing nail wraps? You're still rocking my Valentine's Day. So, you know, really, do you love this product? Are you passionate about it? You know, if you if you feel a little insecure about it, then sometimes that makes a difference in how you're going to sell. So do you really love Jamberry? Do you? Are you proud of it? Are you passionate about it? You know, I can check off yes in all of those boxes. Do I know it's hard? Do I know that I have to work with people to get their application just downright? Do I know that sometimes people get frustrated and stop before they should? Um, do I know that I haven't followed up sometimes? Yeah, absolutely. I can also check those boxes, yes. So it's not an easy thing, and it tests us, and it puts us outside of our comfort zone. But, you know, love this product and continue to um, wear it and try to sell it and try to troubleshoot for your customers and know that there are always going to be some people who unfortunately can't wear what we have right now. Maybe they will in the future because, you know, Jamberry is always improving and making course corrections. But, you know, know that and know that there are just some people who aren't into this and never will be. And so you can't take that personally. You know, don't be too impatient. If you didn't get a sale yesterday, um, keep working on it. You know, a lot of people just quit because, you know, it didn't happen right away or they compare themselves to somebody else. So don't be too impatient. Um, be yourself. You know, I say that all the time. You can't be me. Lord only knows you don't want to be. Um, be yourself. Be your authentic self. This business is about building relationships. And even though I told you I was going to give you some selling tips and you think that um, that, that I'm going to tell you do A, B, and C and then that's going to get you a sale, I, I'm going to kind of give you some, some basic guidelines. And here's the deal. Be yourself. Just totally be yourself. And um, help others. And... Um, the business will come to you. Um, be posting, uh, you know, fun things about Jamberry and what it does for you and your team and all of those types of things. Don't ever try to sell by force. You know, you don't want to be that crazy and I'm going to I shouldn't even do, I'm not going to do that. You don't want to be that crazy salesperson who's, you know, 
yelling and screaming and, and forcing a product, you know, make it attractive. You know, everybody knows particular brands because they love them. Brand yourself as the Jamberry lady that everybody loves. You know, don't sell by force. Don't sell by threat. Don't plead. That's my other one. You know, please don't post out there. This crazy girl in Jamberry said I was lazy, so I have to sell four sheets of wraps today. Please, please, please help me. Don't do that either. You know, don't plead. You know, I'm always, it always kind of hurts my heart when I, I saw a post the other day where somebody said, well, my Jamberry business hasn't gone like I had hoped. But so now I'm going to have a sale or now, you know, will you please, you know, sell my, buy my inventory. You know, don't, don't plead. Um, don't say, I only need six more sheets of wrap sold before I win this Hawaii trip. Who, who's going to buy one? Well, we don't pay for anybody else's vacations, you know, so don't ask people to pay for yours. So don't plead for us, uh, you know a sale. But set goals for yourself. Are are you doing that? Um, make sure that you're setting those goals for yourself and then try to reach them. You know, ask people for the sale in your most authentic you way without being pushy. So how do you do that? You know, I did a Periscope not too long ago about um, naming your fear. So a lot of times if you've if you feel fearful about asking for something, you know, put that out there first. You know, when you're calling somebody up to follow up, go, you know, hey, Gina, um, just calling to follow up. Man, I feel really awkward and I hope I'm not bothering you, but I wanted to make sure that that you loved the product as much as I did. And, you know, and, and I'm kind of worried, but have you put them on? You know, I, you know, I... I I hope that you have, but if you haven't, can you be honest with me and and what's going on? And um, and we have these great American Heart Association wraps where $2 um, of every wrap sold gets um, donated and it's really passionate and close to my heart. And I know that you had some experience with that and, you know, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention that to you. It makes me feel really uncomfortable because I feel pushy, but I just really wanted to let you know about that. So, you know, and... And you can't be me, so be you. Do what sounds right um, for you. Okay, so here are some nitty gritty, uh, you know, because everybody's like, okay, tell me how to sell some of these wraps. Okay, you know, watch the section in Jam U that talks about selling. You know, that will help you. You know, wear five bracelets on your left hand and make sure that you talk to five people about the Jamberry opportunity every day. And when you talk to them, move your bracelet from one wrist to the other so that you know that you've done that. Have you sold? Not necessarily, but you've talked about the opportunity. You've planted seeds or make it sample packs that you're giving out five sample packs. And when you do that, move one to the other. Um, follow up, you know, pick up the phone. You know, Holly Ennis this past weekend, our director of training, girls were talking about doing coaching calls with their team members. And they said, you know, can we do it in messaging? Can we do it in texting? And she's like, no, pick up the phone and call. People have to hear the inflection in your voice. They have to hear your passion. They have to hear how you feel about it. So I know a lot of people have this phone phobia. Well, pick it up. Call people. Guess what? Everybody has caller ID now. It's not like when I was a kid and, you know, you didn't have that and you could prank everybody, which was so great. The days of prank phone calls are gone. But anyway, um, not that I ever pranked anybody except like Bill Shear all the time. Shh, don't ever tell him that. Um, but anyway, um, you know, pick up the phone. Nobody's going to answer most of the time. They're You're going to get their voicemail. So leave them a message. You know, have it scripted down. Practice with your battle buddy or your upline on what you're going to say when people don't answer the phone. You know, so follow up. Follow up with your hostesses. Um, you know different people who like these categories of... I see your question there. I'll get... I'll, that's a good question. Uh, and I'll get with that in a second. Um... You know, you know people who like these different categories of the wraps that we have. Our, um, what you call it wraps, the color of the year wraps are great for girls that are having babies, right? They're like pink and blue, you know, or just different things like that. That one that's checked, that's like a Wizard of Oz wrap. Do you know somebody who's crazy about the Wizard of Oz? You know, I would call them and say, you know, there's this wrap that we have. I think you'd love it. You know, you're building relationships. So if you see wraps that remind you of people, call them and let them know that. Um... American Heart Association wraps, seriously, you guys, um, we have a reason to call every single woman that we know, every one. You know, we're giving money away for research to help women with like this deadly killer that kills women. 
you know, call everybody and say, you know, there's this great rap and we have an ability to fund research and I, I just love to tell you about it. You're not necessarily asking for a sale. You're just telling them about it. Um, if you don't want to pick up the phone, can you make some kind of cute flyer and send that in an email to your VIP customers? Do you have a VIP customer page on Facebook? Um, are you posting regularly? So it's not just about getting out there right now, but do you have regular communication with those people? Are they active on that page? Do they have a reason to purchase from you this month? Let's talk about Stylebox. You know, I didn't even talk about that yesterday in the video. Um, can you, yes, I will definitely YouTube this. Um, can you um, sell a style box? You know, maybe it's not going to give you PRV for this month, but it'll help for next month. You know, can you talk about um, the True Shine kit, the cuticle um, stuff, cuticle oil? Um, can you have, can you throw your own party? How about a mystery hostess party? Hmm? Do it. I'm doing one right now. <laughs> you know, um, do a spoil yourself in January with the gift cards that you got for Christmas party. You know, throw your own party. Um, make it fun. Host coach yourself so you can learn how to be a great hostess coach. Watch that hostess coaching, um, why do you put into your, who do you, who do you put into your mystery hostess parties? Anybody who's interested in Jamberry, your VIP people, friends, um, you know, anybody who's been interested, you know, the sky's the limit, you know, on who you can put in there. Um, people who are interested in the business opportunity, right? Everybody, you, you want to be careful. You don't want to um, be one of those spammy things, but yeah, sure. Any, you know, anybody who's interested in the product. Um, let's see. Um, somebody posted, what if you haven't followed up? That's okay. Follow up and um, be your authentic self. It, you know, I can remember when I did an event um, like in the spring and it was the fall and I hadn't followed up with anybody. And I called everyone and I said, hey, it's Connie. I met you at Oak Hills Dance Competition. And I'm really embarrassed to say that you filled out my drawing slip and I haven't contacted you. And that's really bad on my part. And I so apologize. But um, I just wanted to get back with you because you checked the box that you were interested in the product. So what a huge fail on my part. But um, we have a great new catalog and there's some great new products coming out. And I'd love to drop one in the mail to you and as a little apology, send you some extra sample sheets. What do you think? Can you, can you give me a little bit of mercy and forgiveness? And I got a lot of people who responded positively in that way. So I know there's lots of other ways that you can um, get a sale. Lots and lots of other ways. So I encourage you to talk to your battle buddy. Talk to the people on your team pages. You're all on Facebook team pages. Put it out there to everybody. Hey guys, how? what's your best selling tip? Um, how can you get a sale? You know, I talked yesterday about how I had sold some wraps based off of what I was wearing. I, I actually did. Um, I was out and about and the teller at the bank asked me about them. And I always carry my inventory and like one of those carry my, um, my wraps with me. And I um, had them with me and I sold her a sheet um, right out of the inventory that I was carrying. So, and I got her information. I'm going to follow up and she thinks she wants to have a party. And, you know, I've been going to that bank for a long time. She's a new teller. Not everybody knows about Jamberry. It's, sometimes it's all about um, being uncomfortable, like doing a periscope looking like this. Um, sometimes it's all about being uncomfortable and just kind of pushing yourself to move forward. So I know that if you really believe in Jamberry and you really believe in the product and you may have had a rough month and uh, you may have sold your little heart out in December and January just may be slower for you and your parties aren't getting the kind of response that they used to get and you feel like you're not selling the way that you used to be selling. Um, I truly believe that you can continue to do it and it might be a little slower this month and I didn't mean to insult you, but um, get 
something new on, get a new wrap on. You know, every time I put these on, I smile. You know, get yourself a sheet of those um, American Heart Association wraps because it makes us feel good that we're raising money for a good cause. So anyway, I love all of you. I hope that this has been um, valuable to you. And um, I drank my water, so I'm a little hydrated. I'm not so snarky today. Okay, make it a great day. And I promise before the end of the day today, I am, I'm seriously, I'm going to take a shower.